seven. Only 18 days until Christmas. Welcome to Friday. Hope everyone is doing okay today. And the boys have just, just gone off to school, but it's horrible out there. It's wet, damp, and miserable. But it's not cold, that is the thing. Um, I'd rather be cold and sunny rather than the way it is at the minute. Uh, I think we're stuck in some sort of weather pattern, weather pattern or something. I'm not too quite sure. So, anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm just waiting to hear back from my dad, see if he wants to go around the market. So, I've just popped up into Sammy's room. And as you can see, our elves have been up to their naughty tricks again. They have wrapped Sammy's little Christmas tree up in Clintham. So yeah, so I just spoke to my dad. He doesn't go out in all this wind and rain. Um, you can't blame him, especially with CAPD. If he gets a cold, um, it can be it can effectively affect his breathing and stuff like that. So yeah, so I might have it for later morning until Stephen comes home. I just put a load of washing in. So we hope for that to do and I can put that out. And then yes, yeah, so I'm gonna sit and watch some police rescue, I think now. So it's funny to stop raining out, which is great, and the sun's out as well, which is Um it's not like I say it is really really nice to see the sun because the last few days have been grey, horrible and miserable. But anyway, we're just heading off down to Tesco's now, get a couple of bits. We don't really need nothing, but we need to go down to Tesco's and get some cash back because none of the cash points in town are working, which is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Because um, I, I know we have Barclays, but they've moved, um, well, they've moved, they've actually left the town because apparently the landlord put the lease up and they weren't prepared to pay the extra, which you can't blame them one way. And then the lawyer's cash Reed point. Nest, isn't it? it is. And then the lawyer's cash point is broken, they're waiting for a part or something to fix it. And then the Tesco cash points, because they've been robbed a few times, they end up being refilled. So, but even like, I know I haven't paid my car safety and stuff like that, but when you need money, you know what I mean? It's, the, it's just the inconvenience of having to do it, isn't it? Yeah, you think with this day and age, you know, some of these people will just get with the chip and bin and malarkey, wouldn't you? Well, look, it is actually, well, this could be easier and stuff like that. But yeah, so, no, no, we can have oh, well. pasta. This is life, isn't it? It That's is, actually. So, we are always just so, so well there, so we might get some pasta for tea. So, this is in Tesco's now, looking at these. Look at the colours, they're really, really pretty, especially that one. They're not bad for the price as well, they're only £12. So, Stephen's over there. Look, the old tins. Hmm? The old tins, the sweets. How much are they anyway? Five, we've got some, haven't we? Mm. Biscuits are on offer. £2.50, you got 50p off. I always check the reduced pricing because sometimes they have um, bread and cakes, gluten free, reduced. I've got some bread, but Ben's neat bread. What are those things here? Oh, I might use some crumpets. He likes crumpets. Things don't reduce much off. Probably really fat. 30p off. What's annoying? They've got the pigs in blankets here. You can see what they they've got wheat in under the cheap ones at two pounds. But look, the trying the Tesco fired ones, the most expensive ones, are gluten free. Hmm? It's this but it's got little sausages here though. So what I might do is I might buy some little ones for him, got some flour, I might make his own little toad in the holes for him, hmm? So that I just checked, that's why that's got wheat in. It's obviously so that hasn't, look, that's gluten free. Obviously they used to make them cheaper to bulk them up with wheat. That's what they do, didn't they? 
but oh well. Is it Aldi you've got I think tomorrow? Offer. Look, any three, any tea for five pound. You've got dairy milk and whole nut there. All the tea brain on the offer, and also chocolate orange. She's in these. These are good offer. Look. Mm. Well then, you've also got the quality street. Um, celebrations, heroes, and roses. So technically, you probably are better off buying two packets of these than what you are. Tins probably. See, was looking at the Ferrero Rochers. You can either have 24, 24 for six pounds, or you can buy two of those, which is 24 together for seven pounds. I oh, know. Things are so expensive for Ferrero Rochers, are anyway. So Stephen just put into our Christmas cupboard, and it's found the tree decorations. Um, yeah, and why aren't they on the tree? Because you forgot there was in there. I forgot there was in the tree on there actually. So I'm uh, warning you, put them on the tree. Someone's going to sniff them out, I tell you. No, if I hide them, you won't. No. no, I won't. If I hide them. Hide them. What? Oh, well, at least after Christmas, we've got a boatload of chocolate to eat. Exactly. So, here goes. What have you got in there anyway? Oh, you've got there. Just a square of dairy milk chocolate thing. Well, they are. They're not filled with the thing, are they? So. No, of course they're not. So, you can see about to clean pepper out. And have to bunny proof the house, don't we, all over the place for all the Christmas, all the Christmas stuff out? Oh no, you'll have to wait till two, won't we? Hey, wouldn't ya? Hey? <laughs> yeah, what would you do with all the Christmas stuff? Well, would chew all the wires, wouldn't ya? Would you chew all the wires? <laughs> you can have a good run now, can't ya? Yeah, you have a good run out. And that way the boys won't bother you, will they? Because bless him, when he's out. Someone tries to pick him up, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so going to clean you out. You have a nice clean bum. You can do your run. You can do your run in peace, can you? Look at him just sitting there. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like it, do you? Because all your favourite places you go are all covered up. <laughs> so... You can see Peppa's finally back in his cage, now he's having a drink. Tell you what, it took him ages to go back in today, didn't it? He didn't want to go back in, it was about half an hour, 45 minutes, at least. So now he's got the hoover out, as you can see he's made a mess over the floor. Guys, oh, <laughs> we have a hailstorm. Oh. <laughs> I think the wind's got off as well now. Oh, look at that, that is really coming <laughs> down. Oh, shutting that door. I'm shutting the door. Oh, oh. I know. Ah. Show you out here quickly out the window, it's the best part. Shutting the window, yeah. Suddenly gone back to rain again, that's a bit strange. Look, you can see the hail on Ben's trampoline. I thought his trampoline was going to take off for a minute because it looked like it was bulging. It did, didn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, cup of tea time. So, as you can see, the boys are home from school now. Ben's had a really good day, haven't you, see, Tab? How you've been playing with food in science? So, I bet you enjoyed that. Look at his t shirt. Hokey Terry likes to cake a cola truck, can't you? Um, bit annoyed about this year, though. It's come nowhere near us. It would have been lovely for him to go and see it. But. Anyway, Mr. Hamster, you had a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah? Here we go. Yeah. yeah. What have you done at school? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, she do. You're just being silly, aren't you? Must have, we'll get much out of him because he's actually playing Force Horizon 4. It's all you play. His father's daddy. Daddy plays FIFA all the time. And you play this one all the time. 
You never know, perhaps Father Christmas might bring you some new games. And you play something different. I think so. Do you think Mr. Pepper's happy back home there now? After a nice clean bum, aren't you? Hey? You got a nice clean cake now? Have you got a nice clean you didn't want to get back in there, did ya? You was happy having the run. You were. And then you can see there Stephen cooking uh, tea for us. We've got our usual Friday treat of pasta, haven't we? <laughs> What's the matter? You're tired. Same old, same old. Yep, I know. Yeah, the kids love pasta, though, don't they? Yes, they eat too much of it. I tell you do, what, when we take the decorations down, Ben's going to miss them, isn't he? As you can see, we've just had dinner. Mm -hmm. He's coming here, laying on his jimble, looking at the tree and the lights. You love all these, don't you, sweetheart? If you had your way, we could put Christmas up every day, wouldn't we? So I just finished off my tea. I'm going to come in here, I see Ben on his jimble, staring at the Christmas tree. Oh, you love all the decorations, all the lights. It's your favourite time of the year. We all, that's why we always try to make it special for him. Yeah, I think he was looking at this, or the tree, but he has actually found, believe it or not, he's found those, the chocolate tree decorations. And you, Ben? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll sit here for hours. Watching the tree. Yeah, guys, that brings the end of another week. Yes, Friday has come again, and uh, yeah, two weeks today will be Ben's birthday. Can you believe it? No, it's scary. In fact, he's 13. Look at the size of him already. And yeah. then they also break up for Christmas in two weeks today, didn't they? Yep, yeah, two weeks left of the term, and two, we two weeks left really before Christmas, really, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Crazy. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us today. As always, the usual Facebook and Twitter going across the bottom of the screen. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Bye, guys.